Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a quick video today. Uh, something I'm doing at the moment a lot is converting between Israeli salaries and world salaries. So I just want to show quickly what you can do to save yourself a bit of time. Uh, build out a Google sheet, commonly called a G sheet for doing this conversion. So I'm gonna call this Israel to world salaries. And I've done a blog post about this before, but um, I always like to just I think it's easier to sometimes narrate something as a video or a screen share explanation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an Israeli salary. So we're going to say salary in NSR ILS. You'll commonly see people abbreviate the shackel as NIS. I think ILS is technically more official. And I'm going to plug in 17,000 as my amount. Now, people are going to point out, well, you know, you can't just do an equivalence like this. Yes, there's going to be complications for social security. There's going to be other factors. This is just part of the research process. I'm going to call these exchange rates. So what I'm going to do is uh, that's my salary in shekels. I got, I've gone for 17,000 as kind of a, you know, basic, well, salaries, you'll find salaries lower, you'll find salaries higher than that, but something normal, let's say. And then I'm going to run a few conversions to uh, equiv equals USD. Uh, whoops, I can't do that. Equiv USD equivalent in Euro. And I'm going to do equivalent in pound sterling, Great British Pounds, GBP. Um, and now I'm going to just bake in a few formulas. So this is, this is what you do. So Google Sheets uh, works with Google Finance and you can use Google, Fi call, call Google Finance in a formula, which is really useful because you'll be able to pull in the live exchange rate. So that means that when you open up your, this document, um, you'll know that you're using the actual current exchange rate. So particularly when you have uh, currency pairs like the uh, Israel, the shekel uh, dollar pair that's moving quite quickly at the moment, it's important to be using updated info. So here's uh, just one I got from the internet and just demonstrate the usage. So your starting cell, asterisk for multiplying by Google Finance, then in brackets, uh, you have your currency pair. So the, the syntax is currency, currency semicolon, um, origin currency and target currency. So that's how you denote the currency pair and then close off quotation and close bracket. Now there's a complication in that salaries in Israel are quoted in uh, monthly and in most of the world it's per annum or per year. So therefore we're gonna need to multiply the origin figure by 12 and then do the exchange. So that's not so hard. Our uh, starting field is B2 equals our Israeli salary on this example. So what we're gonna to need to do here is equals for the US dollar, let's start with that. B2 multiplied by 12, then run this through, whoops, uh, the currency exchange API from Google Finance, then close off. So I'm just gonna, to, to save myself time, copy and paste. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I know what uh, currency code to use? So um, you can look up an online reference for, just remember it's coming from Google Finance. So there's a website called spreadsheetpoint.com and they have the US dollar, Japanese yen, Canadian dollar is CAD, Euro is EUR, the, the Great British Pound is GBP, um, and the Hong Kong dollar is HKD, and the Singaporean dollar is SGD. Um, so let's go now and change these round a little bit. So the second one is going to be to Euro, and the third one's going to be to Great British Pounds. So just to, just to reiterate uh, what we're doing here, equals our Israeli salary in field B2, multiply that by 12 to convert to per annum, uh, then multiply that by this Google Finance uh, formula, which is Google Finance, open brackets, um, quotation mark, currency, colon, ILS, then the target currency, and quotation mark, and brackets. So let's just plug that one in firstly. And we're good. So 17,000 shackles is equivalent to 65,606. 65, dollars per year uh, so i'm going to show you how to round those down in a second in case you don't know now into the euro field now you can tidy this up and you know put in the uh currency symbols as well this is just kind of doing it a bit rough but uh it should work and finally uh great british pounds now those are kind of awkward awkward numbers to work with right sixty five thousand six hundred and six five fifty seven thousand three hundred and thirty two euros and it's forty eight nine oh four 
and those exchange rates are all current or all, all current fx so what you can do is uh, just displace the decimal a little bit so you can just round off uh, this number here and i'm just trying to figure out where that uh, rounding utility is actually gone but it's definitely somewhere uh, here we go so if you see decreased decimal places so you probably just need it to the nearest integer so there we go so now we're just rounding to the nearest integer uh, so 65,000 uh, and you can add quotation marks if you will and that's it so 17,000 so watch if I change the number so what's 15,000 in dollars 15,000 at today's exchange rate would be an annual USD salary of 57,888 and in euro it would be uh, 50,857 euro I'm just going to zoom up a bit here let's do whoops yeah well if you're earning 19 shackles it will not be very good 20,000 is uh, 77,000 dollars 25,000 is 96 now if you wanted to work the other way uh, you could of course also do that so let's build out again salary in USD so how much what if you wanted to make a salary of a hundred thousand dollars well what would you need to earn in shackles so I'm going to just do this time equivalent in ILS and this is a uh, field E2 so we're going to just reference field E2 uh, so E2 is our American salary so therefore what we're going to do is going to be equals E2 divided by 12 so we're working the other way around this time multiplied Google finance and we're going to also be reversing the currency pair it's USD to ILS rather than the other other way around and that should be good so now I'm going to just go and patch that into my formula field and a salary a six-figure salary of 100,000 USD exactly is at the time of recording this video equivalent to 25,912 shekels per month so basically let's call that 26,000 so if you're earning 26,000 shekels uh, bruto or more then you're earning actually a gross salary of more than six figures in the US and that uh, usually that, that number in shekels is higher but obviously right now it's a um, because the currency exchange pair is in such a crazy place uh, that number is lower than you might expect so and then uh, just Google finance puts up this disclaimer automatically at the bottom of your sheet saying quotes are not sourced from all markets and maybe delay by up to 20 minutes basically it's good enough for this purpose so that is it guys hope that video was useful thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe for more videos from me